Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutel Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this colorful seed beads bracelet. If you're new here, consider subscribing with the bell for more absolutely free similar content to this one. Check description for full list of materials, other useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough guys for these actions. And a lot of work goes in this video so you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and link to the membership option you will find in description and at the i icon. Thank you so much for watching. Now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are six colors of 11 OC beads, dark green, yellow, red, orange, blue and white. Here I'm using regular lobster's claw clasp and a jump ring. This is nylon nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D. This is size 10 beading needle, you could use size 11 or 12 to be easier for you. And these are scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up six of these beautiful red beads. And I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my thread. Then I will go through all of those beads one more time. And here I want to make a knot with my main thread and my tail thread. And how I make it? I make a loop and I go twice through the loop I've made and I pull. Just like this. Then I will make one more knot. Then in my next step, I want to go through two beads in this direction. And I have this. Now I'm going to take just one white bead. And I'm going in the opposite red one. And I pull. Now guys, I have this. Then I'm going to take three dark green beads, a yellow, which will be the color of my next flower, and then three more green beads, okay? And as I'm exiting from this red, I'm going back in circle through the same red. And I have these guys. Then I'm going in the following red, and I'm going to take three greens and one yellow. And as I'm exiting out of the neighbor red, I'm going in this yellow here. Now I have this. Then I'm going to take four yellows. And I go back here through these two yellows. And I have a circle of six yellows in total because two are already there. And as I'm adding four more, I make another circle of six. Then I want to reinforce it. And I'm going in this yellow. And I take a red one. And as I'm exiting from this yellow, I go in the opposite yellow bead. How I find the opposite? I count one, two, three, and the third one is the opposite. And then I pull and I go in the same direction where my thread is pointing to. Okay. Then I go in the next two yellow beads. Okay. They are the opposite of these two where I attached my green beads. And I'm going to take three green beads, the color of my next flower, which will be blue, and three more green beads. And I go back in circle through this yellow here. Okay. Yeah, 
in my next step I'm going through these three greens then through this blue one then I take a blue and three green beads and as I'm exiting from this blue I go in the neighbor yellow and backwards in circle through the next one okay I have this in my next step guys what I want to do is to reach these two blue beads to start the next flower so I go here then I go in the two blue beads and as before when I take four beads and here I have two I could make a circle of six and make another flower with six petals the small beads representing the petals then I'm going to reinforce it and I take a white bead and I go in the opposite blue okay then I have this then I'm going here in this blue bead you see one of those two blue beads that are pointing in this direction and I take three beads an orange bead and three more green beads and I go back in circle through this blue one I have this then I go in the neighbor blue take three greens and an orange and go in the next orange just like this and here I have two orange beads and when I add four more and go back in circle I have another flower and then as always I reinforce my work I take just one blue bead and I go in the opposite orange bead and I pull okay then I have four flowers in a row and I'm going in these two orange beads and I take three dark greens my next color and three dark greens and I go back through this orange in circle then my goal guys is to go in this direction and to reach the white bead and I take a white and three green beads and I go back in circle through these two orange beads and what I want to do is to reach these white beads then I'm forming my next fifth flower go back in circle like this I reinforce and I take one red bead and I go in the opposite white and where my thread is pointing to okay then I go in this white and now guys I have these five colors for my flowers red yellow blue orange and white and I'm going to start repeating them I will start over from the red one 
that is why here I took red because the next color will be red okay and when I go here I'm in a position to start a red one okay guys now repeat this five flowers two more times so from here up to here two more times and now probably will, you'll have the desired length and uh, I'll be back then to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and as I continued beading now I have 15 flowers I show you the first five and then I repeated this sequence once and twice if you want you could add more flowers but for my wrist this uh, length is enough now in my next step what I'm going to do as I'm exiting here in this direction you see and what I want to do is to take three green beads and as I'm exiting here from this bead I'm going through these three beads in this direction then I take three more go through the following three green beads that are on my way again three beads go through the next three three again in the next three I'll show you one more time and I'll let you do this until the end okay meet you at the other side okay guys and as I continued adding more and more beads here I am at the end where I'm adding my last three beads from this row okay now you see my thread is almost over and I want to cut it and add a new one that is why after I take the three new beads and I transfer to the other side of my bracelet I want to make here a knot and cut my thread and how I make it I make here a loop and I go once then I go second time through this loop I make and I pull then I want to go through some beads in this direction like this and cut this tail thread you could also cut this tail thread the initial one where we started our work from now guys I'm going to put a new thread on my needle and I'll be back and I put again about an arm span of thread on my needle and now I'm going to add it to my work and how I do this I go through some beads in this direction let's say in this flower pull and now I'm going to hold with my thumb the end of my thread and now I'm going to make here a knot again I make a loop and I go once then I go second time through this loop I've made just like when I was cutting my thread then what I want to do is go through those beads one more time first I went through two of them and then through the third one okay now I'm going to continue absolutely the same way adding more and more beads okay I'm going here in this direction three and go here through these three as well and by the way you could come here 
and cut this tail thread. I take three more and go in the following three. Okay, and I'm going to continue adding more and more beads and when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and as I continue this process, here I am at the last step where I'm adding the last three beads from this row. And I'm transferring now to the other side of my work. Okay guys, and now what I'm going to do is go through two beads in this direction. I'm exiting out of this middle green bead, the middle one of the three that I have here. And I'm going to take three white beads and I go back through this one. like this. Then I want to continue in this direction. And I want to exit through the middle of these three green beads. I'm exiting out of this one, you see. Then I take the color of my previous flower, which is orange, and I go back in circle like this through the bead that I'm exiting out of. And I also went through the following bead. Then I'm going through all of those five beads. After that, again, I'm exiting through the middle of those three beads that I have here at this side. Take three blue beads and go back through this green bead. Back in circle, you see, here I have a loop and I pull. Then I go here in this direction. And I'm exiting at the same place. Take three yellow beads. And go back in circle through the same green bead. Exit here at the same place, three reds, the color of the previous flower again. Okay, and I'm going to continue guys this until the end of this row and I will repeat white, orange, blue, yellow, red, the color of the previous flower. I will repeat it until the end and I'll be back. And as I continue beading, guys, this is what I have. Now, what I want to do next is go again in this direction. And I exit out of this green bead. Then I take two green beads, my earring finding and two green beads. And as I'm exiting from here, I go in this green beads from the other side of my work. Okay, now I have this.
again I'm exiting here from this side and I'm going to mirror these three beads. Here I have three yellows and I'm taking three yellows and I go back like this. Then I continue in this direction. I go in this middle green bead here. I take three blue beads, I mirror this one. And I go back like I did before so many times. And I will continue these guys absolutely the same way. Adding three beads everywhere and I'll be back. And when I continue guys the same way, this is what I have. In my next step, what I want to do is exit here at the last green bead, take five green beads and my jump ring, here it is, and I go in the next green bead. Okay. Then in my next step what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread. And how I do this? I choose a place, let's say here. make a loop go twice through the loop I've made like this and pull then go in the next few bits I'm cutting my thread as close as possible to my work and now guys my bracelet is ready okay guys and now my colorful flower seed beads bracelet is ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe also hit the bell button if you still haven't in this way you will be notified for my new videos usually twice a week and you will be inspired often down there in description you will find the full list of materials Link to my Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. Please like, share and comment. This helps me a lot in my work and you support me so much in this way. A lot of work goes in this video so you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the membership comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye for me.